What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this exciting one, I'll be showing you the brand new Minecraft 1.20 release, how to install Optifine. The process may seem simple, but this is out here for those who may not understand. All you need to do is head to the description down below where you'll find the Optifine download link. When you get here, make sure to expand preview versions by clicking here. If you see Minecraft 1.20 followed by preview versions, otherwise, if you see versions such as for 1.19 here, all you need to do is find the latest version and click download next to it, which will show you an ad or mirror. So for 1.20, I'll click mirror to skip the ad and it'll take us straight to the jar file download that I can click here. Do note that it's currently a preview release, meaning that things may be a bit glitchy, crashes are to be expected, etc. Then all we need to do is head to our downloads folder and double click on the preview jar here. Assuming you have Java installed, you should see a window like this. All we need to do from here is click install and just like that, it'll go ahead and install Optifine for us. If you receive an error, about needing to launch it first, open up the Minecraft launcher and simply make sure that you've launched the latest release 1.20 or latest snapshot 1.20 by selecting it and clicking play before installing Optifine. Now, as you can see already, there's already an Optifine 1.20 pre-3 here. To actually open up Optifine, all we need to do is select this from our versions list and click play. Now, if you're technically inclined and have lots of RAM on your PC, you can head to the installations tab at the very top, click the three dots next to Optifine 1.20 here and choose edit. Inside of here, we can scroll down, expand more options and change XMX 2G to something a bit bigger. This means up to two gigabytes of RAM can be used. Checking my task manager, the performance tab followed by memory, you can see I have a ton of RAM available. So I'll be able to give this maybe 12 gigs or 16. Then we'll click save and we can click play for Optifine 1.20 here. Make sure you tick that you're using a modded version and play. Now it'll go ahead and download any files if necessary and launch up Optifine 1.20. And that's pretty much it. As long as you see modded in the bottom left corner and you head to options and see under video settings that you have Optifine written in the bottom left, make this a bit bigger, Optifine in the bottom left and the shaders tab available, then congratulations, you now have Optifine installed and you're ready to go ahead and play with higher frame rates than usual. Just a quick note, if you'd like to optimize Optifine, you'll find a full optimization guide for Minecraft Optifine linked in the description down below, updated for Minecraft 1.20. So thank you all for watching. That's about it for this quick guide. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.